All right, team, what's going on? I'm Tim Jenkins, and welcome to All Things QB. And today we are checking in on Justin Fields and the Chicago Bears offense from preseason week three. And we're going to answer the question, what the heck happened? But before we jump into it, I want you guys to know I'm a huge FTA guy, which means comment for the algorithm. Please like this video and then please subscribe, or I always say you can wait till the end and hopefully I'll earn it. Guys, also one more quick thing is we do have a new Patreon account. So guys, we're going to start to do a bunch of the clips on YouTube, but if you want some more exclusive clips, go subscribe on Patreon. We got a bunch of free trials, so you can go do a free trial, see if you like it, and then hopefully you stick around. We're trying to do better stuff on this channel with editors and more content. So guys, we got to kind of start hiring some people, which is which is why we're doing the Patreon. But guys, I'm excited about this one because I think there's some ways the Chicago Bears offense can make sure we get it cleaned up before week one. There's a couple of common misses on these slot fades that we're going to talk about. And then we're going to talk about ultimately why it's like, hey, Justin Fields, you got to remember who he is and kind of what he can go out there and do. So without further ado, let's jump into the film. All right, we are jumping right into it. And we've got kind of a funky, not a funky, we've got kind of a, a tweener rep here. Okay, you could mark it as a bad, you could mark it as a no grade. We're going to talk through all of it. So outside, we've just got DJ Moore. He's on this clear route, right? Outside vertical. He's going to go on an outside easiest release and get vertical. Okay. You really alert this. Maybe you could call it your first progression. But if I'm being honest, I, you're just really peaking it, right? Then we're going to work to our sale. And then we're going to get down um, to our tight end. And then we also have our back backside that we can get to. Okay. What, so with Justin's feet, you can tell, okay, boom, he's peeking that go, right? You can tell he's peeking it, but then it kind of seems like he's just hanging on Cole here, which I'm not going to sit here and act like I totally disagree with, right? I think this is taken. I think the reality is, is like, could you force it here with like a back shoulder ball potentially? Maybe, but I think a lot of the reason that looks open is because this guy's driving because the ball's already out of Justin's hand. And that's the thing when you're watching the tape, you can't just you can't just look at it and say, man, he's open because guys get open based on, oh, wow, the quarterback already released the ball and these NFL players aren't going to keep covering somebody that they don't have to cover because the ball's out of the quarterback's hand, right? So to me, it's like, I don't I don't necessarily disagree with getting to our tight end there then a part of me is like, hey, let's move on and get to our back. Ultimately, this all gets fixed if we just throw a better ball, right? Or if we don't double clutch it at the top, right? You can see Justin where it's like right here. It's like he wants to throw it and then he does it and then he reloads it. It's like the double. If we don't double clutch it, if we throw a better ball, it's probably going down as an okay play, but instead we double clutch it and we dirt the ball. And then it just brings all these other, you know, questions into it. Like, should the ball have gone on the sale? Should the ball have gone to the back? Like, those are the things that, that we've got to figure out and we've got to clean up. Okay. This one straight up, just a bad ball. Okay. Bills are in one robber, which means I'm going to draw it up for you guys where we've just got man across the board. Okay. This our robber. He's going to insert here. This our center fielder. Okay, they're in one robber. Robber will read the quarterback's eyes. We've got double slot takeoff. It's a perfect play against it, right? And we're going to watch it twice because first I want you guys to watch the matchup that on tape you would have loved to see him go to. Okay, so I want you guys to watch Mooney here just cook this dude. Okay, so yeah, we'd love to see the ball go to Mooney here. But obviously, this is something that you've got to make this decision pre-snap. And pre-snap, he says, listen, I'm going to DJ Moore. Who could disagree with that? DJ Moore does not get on top of his guy. He never stacks him, right? So we're even right now, which means we need to throw this. We need to throw a high ball, and we need to throw it back shoulder. Back shoulder and high, and we get the back shoulder, okay, in a way, but we just get it way too low to where it's like DJ Moore has to become a defender. So this is just a straight up bad football, okay? Could you nitpick DJ Moore and say, man, we need you to get more vertical at this point and stop working to the sideline? You definitely could. No matter what you say, I think it's a bad football. I think it's a bad football, and I think it's something that's got to get cleaned up. We got to give him a better shot to go make a play, and the way to do that is going to be the ball a little bit higher and a little bit further towards that sideline, okay? 
when you see Mooney so wide open, it's one of those hard ones because it's like, man, love to see him go to Mooney. But again, the process to get to Mooney is non-existent post-snap. It's a pre-snap decision. He made the pre-snap decision to go to DJ Moore. And I'm not really sure who could like disagree with, with that, okay? This one that I got marked as a no grade because you're sitting there and you're like, all right, I think our spacing's poor. So we got the outside vertical. You can peek that as one. Then we're working the cross. Then we're working the dig. One, two, three, right? We're working across. This spacing to me is less than ideal, okay? And it's like, I see what's going on. Cole's trying to work over top of this guy, which he's probably got to on paper football. And this guy's doing a good job getting out of there. So it's like Cole then now has to get all the way up here before he can start crossing face. Because it's like, I think if we're tighter, I think the ball goes here. Simultaneously, I think if we have better spacing, I think this window then right here looks way bigger to hit Mooney. And especially if we get a little bit more of a spray release outside, to go there instead okay it's kind of clouded justin gets off it gets to his back and we just drop it so it is what it is there with the drop however man i'd love to see that concept get cleared up from a spacing and a timing perspective i think both of those guys could have been in play This one I've got as a no grade, but I do think this is just one of those things where it's like, it's a good reminder of when you see days that Justin and this offense struggle, because there will be more again this season, like there were last season. But when you see these days where they struggle, I think it's a really good reminder when you see these kind of plays where it's like, he gets himself out of trouble, right? No, there's literally no one open and we get ourselves out of trouble and we go create and like, listen, this isn't a big gain, right? Four yards, but it's a good reminder of what he brings to this offense where it's like, even on these days where we struggle, you remember, okay, this is what this kid's going to add to this offense is he can create outside the pocket. He can extend some of these plays. And then we're going to end up getting some big plays because of that this season. And so you're going to kind of live with a little bit of the, the tough stuff, like the, the bad ball, you know, to Cole early on. This one's good, man. This one, we've got just this action sit where back's going to flash across our face. We've got this slice guy to make it look like a little bit of run action. Boom. We got DJ Moore working all the way in, sitting. That's our first. We're going to spray release. We're going to sit down. That's our second. Okay. Little action. DJ's wide open. Deliver it to him and then let him go do something with the football. Love that. Really great stuff. Really, really, really great stuff. Easy pitch and catch, simplified progression, simplified concept, good dress it up with the run action a little bit, get those guys to bite in and then deliver a strike. And then DJ Moore obviously just doing what DJ Moore does, which is go and make a play. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed those five clips. Just a reminder, I've got two more clips over on the Patreon account, but we don't just have this breakdown. We have a bunch of other breakdowns over there. And you can do a free trial. So please consider jumping over to the Patreon account. The link is in the description. Checking out the free trial. Checking out what we're doing over there. It would mean the world to me if you did. If you don't want to, that's okay. Please just subscribe on YouTube and comment on YouTube. And until next time, peace.